Get them third, I'm Tom Cruise. Oh, welcome home, Roddy Rich, too. I mean, um, Roddy Rapper. Roddy yeah. <laughs> Rapper. <laughs> it's crazy, RR. Yeah. <clears throat> Shout out right. to Real Rights. Yo, what's up, man? What's good? I feel great. I'm hot as shit, first, but I feel all, great. I haven't even asked you yet. That's how great you feel. You answering before. Yeah, I didn't asked you. care for you to ask me. All right. How are you feeling? I'm feeling. I'm feeling pretty good, man. I'm feeling. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> I was gonna ask why the hell you keep saying the same <laughs> shit. <laughs> nah, because I, I mean I I won't get into it, but things that were on my mind this past week that I had my mind a swivel, mm. they smoothed out. So, how often is things is, on your mind? All the time. Oh uh, yeah, because I was gonna say it seems like shit is always on your mind. All the time, all the time. I'm a bit, yo, I'm a big thinker, man. Over my thinker. brain is never off. I'm a big thinker and analyzer and sometimes overthinker and yeah definitely you know, overthinker so yeah you talking about that like, you agree or talking about with me are you saying yourself half too? and half oh. but i don't overthink as much anymore yeah back in the day i used to assume more but now i just substitute i'll be like what if they're sleeping what if they got into accident what if because things that i know i experienced you know right how was your weekend what did you do hmm my sister turned 13 today. Hey, I mean, uh, today? Yesterday. 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 Happy belated, dear money. Yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. She turned she turned um 13 and it was just uh it was like she wow, looked 13. man. She looked and I don't I I think it's because of how she carry herself. She carry herself she look a little older, right? Yeah, she how Which I don't yeah, like. She carry herself more mature. Yeah, she's she's so. I remember years when she was like ten, nine, eight. She was kind of like getting to that brat stage. Like as a kid, she was super calm, didn't really cry a lot, and then she got into like that spoiled brat stage where you tell her no, she mm. throws a tantrum. Because this was like child seven or eight. Girl yeah. Too. So that I was kind of like, hmm, I don't like that shit. But then as she got older, she just molded into, like, a very mature young woman. You know what I'm saying? Gr- uh, like, really good grades. Mm. Um, mad respectful. Like, she just, you know, she does the right thing. And you she, know what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to put get a her gun? up on yes, a I know. lot of game. Because uh, you know, from our experience, it be those women that make the dumbest decisions in the dating room. They be dating the nigga on the corner. Like, but I love Tyrone, dad. Dominique, you're overreacting. Because niggas do their job. <laughs> I told her that. Yesterday, I went to the house. They had like a little, you know, we can't do much. We had like a Zoom call mm-hmm. with her family. <clears throat> and I was there. My my cousin and my cousin Sheen and my cousin and my aunt stuff, they pull up the decoration because there's they have like a decoration and party planning a business. Business. Okay. So anyone mm-hmm. listening, I have somebody that, that does good good party planning and shit. Um so we was at the house. And then the night was getting over. I was about to go home. I pulled in the room. Just me and her. And I was just talking to her because I went inside the room. Or I ain't, you know, this is. Found a condom? Nah. Are you fucking dumb? <laughs> well, yo, relax. 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 <laughs> yeah, let me I, relax. So I went in the room. And I was just loud. I'll there. get upset too. Relax. That we far from that right now. No, I'm saying I would get upset because of that. Like, oh, oh, because, yeah. Because, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, took her in the room, and I was just telling her, like, you know, I never, her being 13 is kind of like a culture shock for me. I never had a woman in my life that I, um, had to protect Mm. at this degree. Like, obviously my mom, but she's always been, you know, older than me. She was always my protector when I was a kid. Mm. So now for someone to be, like, you know... I'm imprinting on her like mm. I'm your protector for life. It's just intensifying as she gets older. You One know? of her protectors for life. Of course. She got hella family. Um, so I was telling her that like, you know, <laughs> I know that it's going to, you know, you get into these ages where you're going to start like you're going to start FaceTiming boys, maybe on the phone. You maybe have a boy you like because at first she's on some like, I don't like boys. Yeah, that's cool. You 10. I give it a couple years. I'm I'm just being realistic, you know. Yeah. I don't want it, but it is what it is. 
I was telling her that, you know, now that you're getting older, you're 13 now, now I can start coming to you about game. I said this, I said, I'm going to start coming to you about game, about what guys are going to say. I'm, like, I'm going to put you on game slowly, though. I don't want to overwhelm you, but you're getting older now, so you're in that stage where you're going to start understanding the things that I'm saying. You're going to start seeing it when you're out. I say this, though. You know what I mean? Because you said slowly. You don't want to put it up on too much Yeah, time. I ain't going to tell her about everything no, in no, the year no. 13. I'd you know say I mean? this. I'd say this. But she definitely going to be tell, hit. I, okay. At five. the end of the day, it's up to you because that's you and your little sister. But me, I would tell my younger sibling or relative, I will put them up on as much game that I see them like being able to digest. If they can't digest stage one, I ain't going to tell them stage two. But right, if I see right. like they mental aptitude is like they ready for stage four, like they're not ready, but they're right. act not they, they're they're knowledgeable of stage four because these children nowadays, they doing crazier shit than we was doing. Yeah. Yeah. Are at a younger though, age. Are they though? Because we definitely knew girls <laughs> that were pregnant at 14, 15. Yeah, but. We definitely they look, they just they didn't example, look as good. The girls now they look better younger. <laughs> for example, and the guys now they wear more than, <laughs> more. I guess they. I don't know. The guys are kind of the same. The girls are way more mature okay. and more hyper. I guess I'm gonna say they this. Look right? better now. They wear when we were in. Well, I think we was in high school still. There's a little girl. Her name was Amber Cole, right? I don't know if you... Hopefully, you remember oh, from the yes, story. When yes, she's giving head outside yes, the school. Yes, and niggas yes. made a whole song about her. Yes. With the uh, uh-huh. Wiz Khalifa Taylor gang. When it's like, Su- Amber Cole, sucking dick, only 14 years old. She's yeah. 14. She's 14. Giving head in her school uniform. Is a line, right? Something like that? It wasn't a line, but dudes was behind them. And she's like... Yeah. You just see what I'm saying? Right. So... Right. I'm not saying people's relatives or little sisters or nieces, cousins is doing these things, but they are going to school where there's girls that may be doing these things. Right. So you giving them, you know, certain game like That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? This old. is why I showed him I do this. This is, you know, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. that that's why I would say. Yeah. Cause a lot of us we tend to think like children are not ready for certain information. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no for sure. For sure. Um I plan on doing that. So, um, yeah, turned uh, 13 yesterday. Besides that, um, I didn't really do much. I didn't really do much. I was just chilling. It's cooling, vibing. Um, what about you? Weekend was cool. Relaxed. I did some more house. I, I just keep, like, creating projects, like monthly projects around the house. And just, you know, slowly fixing the house up. And yeah, um, you feel like shit before. <laughs> okay. Um I I mean I agree partially because I didn't I'm like joking. the I'm No, joking. I I mean because we keep the shit tidy to an extent, but it's like the aesthetics like painting, portraits, decor like the decor, I have more say now. Your room is still black? It was never black. It was never black? All black, no. I feel like it was. It was black. all blue. It was black, white, and the gray. The whole room I was in that was all black. I don't it know. Wasn't you, yours? No, you saw some gothic. I don't know. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> just in terms of like decor and aesthetics, yeah. Mm. Okay. I'm more tyrannical now. Oh, like because I'm I'm like just tired of whatever my whatever I say goes. Yeah. And the shit looked great. <laughs> Everybody keep giving compliments. Like me, I I hate cluster. Oh, yeah. Elderly Caribbean so people get rid of think that big ass like con- that big ass like cabinet in the front of the. That's table. what I was just about to say. I wouldn't say that's clutter or cluster per se, but elderly Caribbean people they get a sense of fulfillment out of having a lot of shit. My grandmother has that same shit in her living. Room. I'm like, bro, that same shit. You're out of slavery. <laughs> the fuck you 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 can eat in a regular plate and put it up in the in the cupboard you don't need to see all this material but shit. They, we never use those plates once a year if that i've never touched a plate inside but my grandmother's the cabinet. ones in mine my, my mom she we, has two of them actually <clears throat> one in the kitchen and one in the living room we only use the china set that's the <laughs> only thing we ever used and then and then so we're part chinese my grandmother's part chinese no and we only packed it back up and stopped using it because 
somebody I, will, I ain't gonna say no names accidentally broke one of the pieces in the china set who was it i ain't gonna say no names i just said you acting like vlad right now who was it <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i i disagree with that dumb shit with elderly caribbean people they they like keeping a bunch of they're hoarders? sentimental yeah they're hoarders yes yeah. i tell them to their face they don't like me but i don't like that they, shit. <laughs> they don't like me <laughs> I think it's like don't. holding on to shit. I this is not don't. a fucking pyramid. You're not carrying all this shit to I'm the afterlife. <laughs> it's not a pyramid. <laughs> but yo. Um Let's get into it, man. COVID. Vaccine. Once again. Shit is now now at first the shit was ninety four point one percent. Now it's seventy four percent effective. But keep going. Yeah. It's um and it's two it's it's two of them. I, to be honest, I'm a little confused on like which one that people should get. They're not really clarifying. Moderna and Pfizer, both, yeah, they, both in bed with Gate Bill Gates. They, yeah, they're not. Which is which is not odd at all. They're not really clarifying. Like they're just telling which us one people should get, get just, or you should get it. And you know, some folks, like I said before last episode, some folks is mandating it, jobs and shit. I think I think like. I think nurses and doctors are probably required to get it. Um, I heard like first responders. I think so. Yeah, like first cops, responders. paramedics, firefighters. So, um, but I saw a video. Like, I, look, I ain't no fucking journalist. I didn't fact check this, mm-hmm. but it fit the it fit it, the narrative. It fit the times. Um, so we rolling with it. It's and it makes sense though, cause you only see things. It has to be a vaccine. Nobody, it's just, it's a video of of two white doctors. One doctor sitting down, white doctor, two men. One of them is getting what seems to be a vaccine, but the syringe. Oh, I've seen empty. the video. I've seen that video. The syringe is empty. Mm-hmm. Somebody zoomed in on the hand. You know how like when something in a syringe, it's lifted up and you have to push it in once it's inside the arm. Yeah, it was already all the way down. Nothing to push. Yeah. Empty syringe. So they're trying to, they're making people believe that their beloved doctors, the one of the most prestigious, most honorable professions in America, in if society, not the world, yeah. right, is leading by example mm-hmm. to get the vaccine. Now, why would someone who is telling you and is and who has been given orders to give you a vaccine, why are they refusing to get the vaccine? Let's let's kind of ponder on that a little bit. Yeah. Why is someone that has been giving orders to give you a vaccine is trying to fake like they're getting a vaccine? Why 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 would they do that? Cuz cuz they cuz they know it's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? They they know it's bullshit, but they're trying to make they're trying to fool y'all. You know what I'm saying? I say this, the wealthiest, wealthiest white men on the planet are con artists. Facts. The wealthiest, wealthiest white men in U.S. are con artists. That's how they got wealthy. Carnegie's, Rockefeller's, all these top names that we hear in, well, Rothschild's, they're from Europe, but as far as like America, industrialists, like these guys, oh, they rose to fame and they conquered the they they're con artists. Yeah, our forefathers was con artists. Oh, I can't say that. The forefathers, our forefathers of America. Oh, they're not yeah, my that's, forefathers. That's what I mean, America. Fuck them niggas. Yeah they, yeah, they were gay and con artists. Yeah, fuck them niggas. Yeah. So yeah, I agree with that. So when we see things like this, it's like if it's a wealthy white guy behind it. Backing it especially, it's like nine times out of ten. Now, this doctor's faking it. <clears throat> you think Obama, Bush, and Clinton's going to take it on live TV? <laughs> These are the presidents of the United States. These niggas are already stapled in history. They're already in their little fraternity yeah. of the most powerful men of all time, right, in American society. You got this doctor, this regular nigga, you know what I mean, acting like he's taking a vaccine. And he ain't really taking it. 
I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know if people really, really see what's going on. I, I found that very, um, very telling, and it just confirmed what I, what I've been, what I've been, um, suspecting mm-hmm. that this shit's cap. And like you said, <laughs> um, the syringe it didn't have space to push whatever content. No, they think we fucking dumb. Like we don't know how syringes work. Because no, I'm saying that because there's other people saying that they pushed air into the people. And I just wanted to like speak on that. The syringe wasn't even up; it was all the way down. As long as the human body like get like an air bubble inside, you could die. So mm. they're not gonna push air into people right. because yeah, that yeah, could kill yeah. them. A doctor, kill you. A doctor that could wouldn't expediate do that. Expediate the yeah. process. Yeah, doctor so, wouldn't do that. So just to say real quick, as long as we see that, it's gonna be pushed all the way up. Right. Right. Yeah. But it was pushed all the way down, and he didn't even. Or I don't know. they may inject just, saline. I mean saline. Saline, yeah. Which is saline like not, is nutrients. It's, it's, yeah, it's, nutrients to keep you alive. People be in coma for six years on saline, and that too yeah. is another proof. Whereas you don't necessarily need to eat. Well, you do not need to eat to stay alive. Right. All you need is oxygen and not proper nutrients for the body. Right. So all of this shit is cap. Yeah. None of us is there to verify what these doctors or political officials or entertainers are being sup- allegedly inoculated with so if we're not there to verify with the contents in the vial that is being extracted into the syringe then we cannot wholehearted definitively definitively say he got a vaccine right. now in addition to that the cdc came out and uh, there was a Riza Islam uh, video. Shout out Riza Islam. Shout out brother Riza He was Islam. speaking some good <clears throat> shit on Clubhouse the other day. He had five or six white doctors on a podium. Well, on stage. And he was at the podium asking them a series of questions. And he's like, is this true? Is this not true? One of the doctors, a white woman, she's like, I am a doctor as well as a, a lawyer. I passed the bar. That is a fact. Because she knows mm. law plus, you know, the doctor shit. So he was like, in uh, the Supreme Court versus Bershowitz, I believe, Jewish last name. Um, what was the founding decision? Oh, the founding decision was basically vaccines are not healthy or proven to be effective to protect one against diseases <laughs> or viruses. Right. So now, if the Supreme Court ruled that. Can you send me that video when you get the chance? I have to find it. But oh, yeah, I got you. Yeah. It's a number of them. And he was just going through points. And the woman who was, she was like the most fearless one out of all yeah. the doctors. She was like, yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. The other ones were this quiet, is fact. right? No, majority. Of, I mean, all of them was, you know, saying like, yeah, this is true. What he's saying is true. But she's the main one like, yo, this is a fact. That's a fact. See, shit like that should be publicized on, we know it wouldn't be. Yeah. But stuff like that is, is I think is 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 newsworthy like give people a chance to see exactly. both sides exactly give them the benefits of what you say is the vaccine and then give them this view and let them choose show them the bum ass dr fauci doctors and then show them these doctors who are also white also white coats mm-hmm. saying something totally contrary right. to got, what dr yeah, you fauci your own is research saying. and see what's, what's, what's and in addition on. to that Niggas is providing Supreme Court hearing decisions. Right. So that's like I in thought Supreme last, Court. Last time I checked, Supreme Court was the... It's king. Um, exactly. It was yeah. the Supreme Court of right. the land. Right. Proven to enforce the Constitution. Right. So Last time admit, I checked. Right. But I'm a conspiracy according theorist. According to y'all. Yeah, according to them. But we're the conspiracy theorists. Right. <laughs> See, it ain't no conspiracy when it's facts. People who use the term conspiracy theorists are straight up pussies. Like people are just yeah. scared to they don't look want into to shit themselves. The quo. If That's I go is. against this, that means I may be castrated, yeah. and I can't deal with that type of pressure. Pressure and yeah. like societal. Um, so I'm gonna just ridicule. I'm gonna just duck my head, tuck my tail, and abide. That's right. all it is. Yeah. But when you ducking your head and tucking your tail, you You're make sure you shut the fuck up. In terms of somebody else who is not ducking their head and tucking right. their tail. Right. You stay in your lane and you go along your merry way. Right. Facts. I yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. Um, and that's what's going on right now, man. Um I feel like a lot of people they wanna I feel like people wanna say that yeah, this COVID shit fishy. 
or they want to say, yeah, I ain't getting this vaccine. But they just afraid of what people are going to say. Wow, you're a- like people say like being called an anti-vaxxer is mm-hmm. like the new conspiracy theorist. Oh, you're an anti-vaxxer? Yeah. Oh, you're I'm a throw it in the guy. He's a, yeah, yeah, I don't take vaccines. My, yeah, anti-vaxxer, yep, I'm proud to say it. conspiracy theorist. Um, uh, race baiter is up there. Oh, you're, you're race baiting, my, my nigga. Toxic masculinity, race baiter. Yeah. Um, anti-Semitic. That's a big one. Mm-hmm. They, they love, like that's all homophobic. That I you was also just thinking that. Throw yeah. that in. They, these are societal it. terms to castrate people. Yeah. If and we as society, you. exactly, you. blacklist you, um, yeah. all these things. If we as society don't fuck with you, you don't want to play ball, Abdallah. All right. He's yeah. all the above. Yeah. Who's going to hire him? Okay, whoever hire him, we're going to label that company, that HR rep, right. that CEO you're as supporting the same them. thing. Right. right. And this is yeah. why we never see people po- posting videos. Yeah, because the corporations like, re- don't have the balls to say, no, no, we actually we actually, uh, we actually, disagree with y'all. Mm-hmm. And what he did wasn't what y'all saying. So we're all going to hire him. We're all going to sponsor him. We're all going to still work him beside him. But instead, yeah. they say, you know what? We don't want... Well, you know how many... Like, this is a little off topic, but cancel culture is starting to dwindle. People, it's like, I feel like if you just get the right people on your side, you ain't getting canceled. Like, unless you do something that's obviously wrong, like rape, you know, any type Mm -hmm. of, you know, molestation or, you know, being racist, then yeah, get you the fuck out of here. But if it's just, it's clearly like some bias against you. Um, it's like for example, this is a little off topic, but example, uh, like Tory Lane dropped the album today, right? Like a rap, a rap capsule, he calls it. It's just straight rap songs, and it's getting good numbers. People talking about no that covers, shit, right? Lil Wayne got a feature on it. No covers though. What you mean, no covers? Like um, like how he used to do the chicks tapes. No, no, no. These are all original beats. Okay. Um, Lil Wayne is on it, which I only fuck with Lil yeah, Wayne. Fuck Lil him, Wayne but like he said, he's still a big name. Um. Okay. 42 Doug, who had a song with Lil Baby We Pay, is pretty popular right now. Um, he got a couple good tracks. Uh, Sway Lee, Tiger. So, but thing is, so somebody comment like, yo, like, is Tiger, su- no, um, is Tory Lane Super Power, like, not getting canceled? Because he allegedly shot a black woman and he still, you know, got a, a career and, it's, and he, he still hit 1.3 billion streams on Spotify. So it's like, and 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 he's fighting the system. He's like, yo, I ain't fucking do this shit. So and I, like, I ain't heard I like niggas people... pull his coat yet. I ain't heard niggas speak out on him yet. Yeah, I mean, I mean, people did in the beginning on Twitter, but like for somebody to go like on a platform and say, yo, the way I like, seen niggas like, in the beginning, Fab they and did. Emily like, v, they he, they it didn't get to that severity. It, and Fab and Emily, Emily B shit didn't go crazy. To be quite nah, honest. to be honest, like I know Bun B spoke about Tory Lanez. Um, Ebro in the morning, T.I. A, a few niggas did. A few niggas did come out and was like, yo, fuck Tory Lanez. He, he wild and shit. But I feel like he's not afraid to go against the grain. He could easily put his tail behind his ass and be like, damn, man, like my career's over and just like bow down and just accept his fate. And I think that he's taking an approach that most people should take. Like, fuck it. I stand by what I say. I didn't yeah. do nothing wrong. Y'all yeah. can't bully me out this game. I worked hard to get here. You know if I mean? he legit didn't do anything, yeah, I fuck with his route. Right, yeah, I, I mean, fuck with that if he did it, then it's fucking. But I can't stay on a limb and say, like like today, I'm on Twitter. And, you know, I'm a little troll a little bit. So people was like, oh, how is, some girl was like, yo, I, like, y'all capable for Tory Lanez. His music never been good. I said, stop the cap. <laughs> stop the cap. Like. Yeah. You he did you he, you think he did this but you say never he, he, bumped your head to but to say he a whack song. music artist is is cap I don't give a fuck what you say you never a one good Tory subjective Lanez. or not that nigga make good music um then some other guy was like yo like he still has a career he out here shoot black women I was like yo um, <laughs> um yeah I wrote like multiple black women I wrote I said yo who did Tory shoot because I want him to say Megan now I'm be like oh so you was you was there oh he already got found guilty. You was dead. Not guilty or guilty? 
No, nah, I'm saying I'm gonna say. Oh, I'm oh, oh, you're at. You was already. Saying, oh, he okay. got found guilty already. You, you was there. You was on the. You know what I'm saying, but jewelry. Yeah, people gotta just overall like. Uh, like we were saying, people just gotta stay on they on their two toes and and you know, go against the grain a little bit. It's Listen. niggas gonna lose their job and shit. But I feel like if you like if you a big dog and you going, you know I'm saying, and if your talent is undeniable, mm-hmm. niggas can't cancel you. That's, That's how fact. I feel. I, that's, that's how I feel Over words and shit How many times Have they tried to cancel Fucking uh, Fucking Kevin Hart For old tweets How or many times Dave Chappelle For old skits You know how what I mean How many times They tried to Cancel the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan Since the Facts. 70s I They trying to lie. cancel I'm surprised Minister Niggas Louis ain't. Farrakhan Yeah, yeah. They have been trying yo. to Kill Louis yeah. Minister yeah. Louis Farrakhan Yo They talk so Lord much him, shit On Minister Louis Farrakhan here, bro he went in their face on Phil Donahue's show, whoever, 60 Minutes and all of that, and told them to their face, gave them that work. They came out of pocket speaking ill of certain things, especially shit that white men should be the last people speaking on on this planet, mm-hmm. and they got that work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They be reaching with yeah. Mr. Minister Louis Farrakhan. They they reach like I'm, oh my god, do they reach? Yeah. I aspire to have patience and control over my higher and lower self the way the minister does. Cause he smiles and just rips them apart. Me, my heart gonna start pumping. I'ma get I'm gonna I'm gonna get up. You gonna get hype. You gonna get I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna get very, very passionate. Yeah. And when I get to that point, I'm gonna the next B, you BS, start cursing I'm a, shit. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, just put on the gloves because you getting me tight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I can't. My thing is, I can't sit in the face of a devil and and have a conversation or have a compromise or have a debate because you're a devil and you're lying. You, we both know you're lying. Yeah. You got. I just lose. You gotta remain when, that. Uh, you gotta remain that emotional. Um, I forgot the word, but like emotional balance. balance. Like just that. You know what I'm I try, I try, but yeah. Once I, it's like once you know somebody is lying to you, though, you know they lying to you. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. <laughs> you. Can, yeah. <laughs> it it boils like. Yeah. So. Yeah, I feel you. Have you um Have you listened to this uh this uh this time uh this Tom Cruise? Nah, I ain't got uh, a video of him like having a. I don't even want to call it a meltdown, cause he he was just speaking very passionate. He was cursing niggas out. <laughs> so basically, it's uh, apparently it was something about you know he's filming Mission Impossible what eighteen Five. right now, <laughs> um and he putting up his own money. Mm-hmm. You know, movie theaters are not open right now, so any movie that's being out right now, you know, they're probably being independently built. Because they're not making no money right now. So what studio's going to spend millions of the movie? I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Well, the studios, they could do like streaming shit. Because a lot of studios is working with like HBO Max. Right, right, by, HBO by, Max by the way, invest in, invest in HBO Max. Because 2021, first quarter going to be crazy. Godzilla versus Kong. Oh, that's coming out. Oh, HBO yeah. I Max. see that. that. That's just one I remember off the top of my head. So right. you know when that shit dropped, the streaming's going to go Speaking crazy. Speaking of HBO Max, little sidebar. They finally did the right thing. Dave Chappelle requested that they take... Oh, no, no. He actually demanded that they take off the Chappelle show. Just how he asked his partners at Netflix, take it off. And they put... And they... And they... The general he said, you know what? We do business with Dave. We're going to respect his orders. Because he's not getting paid for this shit. Mm. So they took it off. HBO put it on. He had a slow 15-minute special saying how he's being... He's being used for his intellectual property, but he's not getting paid for it. That's mm. him on the TV. And it took him a while, but they finally said, you know, we're going to respect Dave and take it off. They didn't have to do that. Legally, they legally they, they could have said, fuck you, and mm. still make money off it, but they did the right thing. Mm. So, shout out to them for finally doing the right thing. I get some credit. Um, So, back to other, uh, Mr. Tom Cruise, which I actually like him. I'm not a big fan of all his movies, but I like him as a, like, he's a great actor. I yeah, view him as right. Actor. He turned up recently. The situation was he's filming Mission Impossible. I think 109. I think it is. <laughs> um, and and uh, these people were 
within six feet. They were they were lower than six feet. They're probably like a little closer, right? And he fucking blew up because there are guidelines. And and, I, and I'm assuming that if a picture came out of them not abiding those COVID shut guidelines, they could shut down the whole production, right? Mm-hmm. And he goes in a fucking rant, and he got a lot of valid points, man. And I ain't going to lie. I like the hot shit he was saying. It could have been a little nicer, but sometimes you got to get your point across. So I'm going to play. It's two minutes. I ain't going to play two minutes, mm-hmm. but it's, it's, it's good. <laughs> about half right i like look look i like i like what he's saying man like mm-hmm. he basically saying look well he didn't mention it but he put his fucking money up here he hired you motherfuckers here follow the fucking rules because this shit gets shut down not only are you being selfish not only are you fucking up what i've got going on you said these are a lot of people working on these films. Mm-hmm. The lighting people, the actors, the fucking, the extras. There's a lot of people who get money from this shit. The industry shut down. This is a shot for people who get their they name back in the in the, um, in the game. Mm-hmm. People who to get some money in their pocket. People going, like you said, going to college. People losing their homes over this shit. This shit could get shut down for your little irresponsible mistake. Something as little as a photo going viral of y'all kicking fucking two feet away, not wearing a mask off a bit. Why is it got best? This is chain thought. And then this whole shit shut down. We not fucking around here. You do it again, you're fucking gone. Period. I don't want to hear no apologies. And five niggas quit from that shit, actually. Five niggas left after that thing. Like mm-hmm. a day after they quit. But was he speaking with a mask on? Because it didn't sound like it. I don't know. I'm it, pretty it sure. It sounded I'm, like I'm, he was speaking I'm pretty sure. You, without his mask on. You think so? The, the clarity. Oh. It was real fuzzy, though. But I mean, when you yelling though, it don't oh, matter. It, like this shit ain't gonna hit no little. Wait, barrier. I thought it was a video though. Nah, it didn't show. Nah, nah, it was no just video. the audio. It's just audio. Oh, okay. It, it's just audio, yeah. Um, but he, he was making that big of a rush about them being within six feet. I'm pretty sure he had a mask on. I would assume. I mean, because someone could say they cats at my job doing? talk about mask on and them niggas nose be fucking over the mask and shit. But look how alright he is though. Yeah, I get that, but you got millions potentially put up out of your own money. Right. I, I would fucking yell at niggas. Yes, I would. Yes. Yeah, but it could get shut down because of he have messed up. I yell too. at my fucking parents. Yeah. Put that shit on. Yeah. I know COVID is a fucking scam. Put that shit on. Yeah. About to lose three million on this fucking yeah. movie. And then you know, some people that they online saying, you know, he's an asshole and look at the rich. Look how uh, mm-hmm. they're not seeing the bigger picture. Yeah. And I'm saying it's like, you may see, damn, all that because they were standing within six feet. Yeah, nigga, it could have been fucking, if the shit said 10 feet, nigga, be 11 feet away. I'm putting fucking money up and there's other people's lives that are depending on this. Our industry is dead. They're giving yeah. us a shot with this shit. We ain't fucking around. Like, I had that attitude with that shit in my job. Like, niggas when it comes out of the store, no mask, we ain't not serving you. Period. I don't give a fuck. If you drove 50 miles away, but well, you got no mask for you, bro. Sorry. Today is a fucking deli down the block. Buy that shit for $2. Come back. But see, I you know agree I mean? with that. I agree in terms of procuring business and, and you know, livelihoods of people. Yeah. Like me, I, I comply when I go to a barbershop. Mm-hmm. I don't like it, but I'm going to sit my ass with that mask on my face. Covering oh, nah. my nose. Oh, nah. My shit be off. Cause I gonna... No, how you gonna I'm saying. 
No, I'm saying waiting for my turn. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because, you know, the barber, one time I went, he was like, yo, these dudes acted mad anal with this shit. And he said they dropped a whole, like, piles of papers off. That particular day that I went, he's mm-hmm. like, somebody from, you know, Department of Health, wherever. Because, mm-hmm. you know, they... they Cracking down on fucking small right. businesses. Yeah, restaurants and shit. That's yeah. what the main thing. They're mm-hmm. they're giving people impossible deadlines and impossible measures to abide by. Right. Okay, mask is so important, but when this client sits in my chair, the mask is no longer important. Yeah. Right. Okay. We have to maintain six feet on the set, but when we're no longer filming and the crew is eating lunch together, we're all in the break room without mask off. I don't even know if that's a reality. Okay, it's not a reality. We don't know for a fact with that per se, but we know that from our jobs. We know that from most jobs that we see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, all right. My whole thing is the way you may speak to people, like I, I would was say, turnt. and, and that, 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 that's coming from me, the way you yeah. speak to people. But um, as far as... Everything else, like I, I see why he may be upset, especially if he they they went over it already, and niggas still like, mm-hmm. come on, bro. Yeah, you trying to get us shut down? Yeah, I'd understand. But if it's the first time, I'll be like, yo, you need to relax. Yeah, you know, there's if we all catch this shit, ninety four percent of us is gonna live, right? He ain't trying to hear that shit. Yeah, but hey, you so called psych- he, Scientologist. He probably would have fired you on the spot. I, I'll be like, oh really? I right, go home. I'll be like, how you a Scientologist and you you. Strain away from Scientology, but thing is, I'm, he probably don't even care about that shit. It's These the guidelines said, from the yeah. federal. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's why I mentioned what I mentioned. Yeah. It's the guidelines from these federal bureaus and agencies. Yeah, he probably that's, don't believe that shit, but it's money on the line. But we just we know it's bullshit. But it's these niggas on our backs. Yeah. So fuck the, what they talking about. We gonna just abide by them to get us Facts. to expedite this process Facts. to remove this whole mask wearing yep. business in the country yep. around the world. And unfortunately, yep. I see it by way of vaccination. But this is my thing: if nobody's speaking up, then nobody's gonna go against vaccine. If nobody go against vaccine, then mask wearing is gonna prolong. If mask wearing prolong, all these guidelines are gonna prolong. As these guidelines prolong, more small businesses is going to be hurt. So it's either you niggas want to fucking abide by the shit on some bitch shit and be like, oh, we're, we're just going to hurry up and get... Or everybody be on some, we know it's bullshit, bro. We not doing this shit. Which ain't going to work. It can work, but people are not willing to do that. Look at France. All them niggas is white in France. There's like, fuck this government with this bullshit. We storming right here. Like, we all white. And we gonna all drink fucking wine after. But in America, it's all this division, all this divisiveness. Oh, I'm getting fucked in the ass just like the Chinese and Indian middle, middle uh, small business owners. But that Indian smell like curry. And that Chinese nigga, the virus came from there. This is how people think. <laughs> And then the Indian dude, he's thinking divisively about the Chinese and the black dude. And then the white dude, he's thinking divisively about all of y'all. But he's going to categorize y'all in a way whereas you're favoritized. And all that delusion shit is going to be like, it's a, it's a mirage to you. Because mm-hmm. you are favored in this sense. Mm-hmm. I, I see through a lot of bullshit at my job. They'd be like, oh, Abdallah, you don't tell any of the other guys, but here's here's such and such perks. I'm like, y'all know y'all telling this to the wrong field nigga, right? <laughs> like, you tell it's like the slave master telling Nat Turner that we haven't, like, oh, you're going to get a couple extra cornbread. And right. Nat Turner's like, yeah, y'all know I'm going to fucking assassinate y'all next week. <laughs> like, thanks for the extra cornbread, though. What the fuck? Like I laugh through yeah, all I'm the politics, dead. bro. I'm one dead. one white guy will come tell you something, and then the other white guy will tell you something. Right. And then your supervisor come tell you something, and then your fucking coworkers that's on the same level as you telling you other shit. It's yeah. like, bro, I see through all this dumb shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't even really run into situations like that because, like, I've rarely worked with white people at my job. Like, T-Mobile is like, it's like predominantly Hispanic. Like for real, 
It's and no shade, but that's how I realized like every store I've ever been in, most of the staff is Hispanic. Hispanic and black for me. Yeah. Always. Mm-hmm. Like I'd be like, damn, like And the Hispanics tend to be Dominican. It's like they only hire Dominican. Yeah, yep. 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 It's very true. Somebody told me that it's not a lot of white people in this field because they see it as like a low grade job. Someone told me that. They I see it as sure. like you're wasting time in some shit sense. that's like yeah it's not really they ain't trying to be no fucking store manager at T-Mobile Which, but the things I see white people doing it's like bro you standing up handing out flyers and shit talking about <laughs> you see what I'm saying like I've yeah. seen that yeah I mean I, yeah I mean that's better than it's a white guy my job he's pretty cool it's but pretty I've cool. even had a manager and she wasn't white she was Latina she um but her husband is white she she would be like, oh, Abdallah, um, is there anything, like when I get to work and I'm, you know, unwinding, settling down before, you know, other things. <clears throat> she would be like, well, used to be like, oh, is there anything, you know, you want to tell me? I'm like, about what? She'd be like, at this job? No, no, no. At a, a previous job in the past. She's like, oh, about anything in, in, in general, like the house, anything you observe, other staff. I'm like, there's nothing to talk about. Nothing to tell you. Other coon ass black people. Oh, oh well, miss such and such. Oh, I seen uh, Abdallah. One of them told a fucking bullshit ass story. I had, this is when I used to work with the guys. Mm-hmm. I had them washing my car. <laughs> I, when I read that shit in the staff log, because it's a staff log that all staff and they had read, your name on it? They had, they had your name on it? They didn't have my name, but I know I was the only one in that predicament. Mm. So when I seen it in the staff log, it was like a meeting coming up that Saturday. I'm like, all right. Because I want to address niggas in their faces. Everybody. Why, he lied on you? Why she lied? Because to be quite honest, she was Latina. The manager's Latina. Niggas be, yo, people be old and grouchy and they brag about having a lot of things that they, re- whether they have it or not, they don't be happy in life. Uh-huh. So when people see me interact with the guys and command a certain level of respect from all the guys, they may become envious of that. Mm-hmm. Especially when they're Latina and one of the guys is Latino, but I'm fucking with this black guy more. You, your old ass stuck in that 1953 bullshit of Lat- Latinos is their own race and shit, right. and the blacks is that's the blacks. Right. But the Latino guy. Is my complexion in the house, and right. but 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 because he's Dominican, he a nigga too. <laughs> but because he's Dominican, he gets treated better, right? Even when she's cooked for them, when she do, oh, he gets his place mad and everything sets up for him. But all the other black guys in the house, yeah, I don't like that shit. Yeah. So me for that's grounds to get her for fired. me now. It's <laughs> like I could be talking about all this shit, but you want to be petty. So now, when we got to the staff meeting that Saturday, I was like, I just addressed the bullshit. I'm like, whoever saw me with the guys washing my car, just speak up right now. Same energy. Nobody. The whole house was quiet. It was like everybody was there. The whole house, the manager, the assistant <laughs> manager, the nurse for the house, the med coordinator, all the staff, day shift staff, morning staff. I love moments staff. like that. I love So I was like, if cars. you seen me doing, I was like, take this step further. If you seen water with sponge and soap, speak now. And I'll turn to the manager. I was like, if they, sp- you could find me on the spot. Everybody quiet. Oh, Abdallah, you don't have to get like that. Yeah, because bitches is lying and you running with the shit and writing it in staff log. Right. You wrote definitively like this shit was a fact. Right. Without no proof, no video footage, nothing. No multiple accounts. Yeah. I was yeah, like, I, I was like, I speak to too. every one of the guys in the house because there's no incentive for them lying for me. Speak to all of them. Ask them who wa- was washing my car. Right. Oh, we're not going to do that. So Why are you not going to do these things? Wait, wait then? so nobody was punished for lying? <laughs> nobody was, there was no, there, nothing. I don't like that shit. Nothing. If you lie, you got to be punished. She, manager came to me again. Oh, staff said this about you. Okay, let's have a mediation. Me, you, and that staff. Oh, no, we're not going to do that. All right, so get the fuck out of my face with this then. Right. You're wasting my time. Right. Oh, Abdallah, you speak, you speak condescending when you speak, say things like this. 
I mean, I ain't, I ain't say the manager, but that was my energy. Like, you wasting my time. Yeah. Why are you telling me about what a staff say? You're an old ass fucking woman. All y'all bitches is older than me. All y'all niggas is older than me. Right. Why are we doing he say, she say right. with a younger dude? You know, a lot of older people, they like to gossip. A lot of older people are not happy with their fucking lives. Yeah, like, so now like when we see a young man like Dominique, who is walking confidently, has his mind made up, knows where he's going. That's a fucking problem. It's, it's a threat. They're not going to say it, but that's a problem. Yeah. Not a threat, but you're, 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 you seem to be more promise. Your life seems to be more promising. Right. But me and all my siblings and cousins and friends, we fucked up because we wasted our shit. Right. We was fucking around when we should have went to typing class. Right. So because we see you now acting you like this, you got minute. this little sparkle in your eye, like 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 I seen. <laughs> so so that's what it is. People are not happy with their life. Yeah. And anywhere you see somebody, whether they all up in a celebrity's business, they always talking about family's business. They always got some type of problem in their life that they feel the need to speak about. Bitch, your life ain't that fucking popping then. Nigga, right. your life ain't that lit. Because right. if it was, you, would you wouldn't be worrying have the, about yourself. Yeah, you wouldn't have the time. You wouldn't have the, the time. space to speak about other people's problems. You would people. not have the time. Yeah. Because right now when we'll people come to shit. me with their fucking old stories or some shit I heard 20 times already or some shit that's just irrelevant to me, I'll be like, yo, I don't even want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about I don't even want to hear about it. Yeah, facts. Yeah, I, yo, I ain't gonna lie, not to cut you off, but to cut you nah, off, I'm not sorry to cut done. you off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that the example you just gave. I'm so glad that you niggas know not to come to me with any of that shit, because I, you niggas know I leave. <laughs> I leave niggas, niggas clowns, on red in a minute, bro. <laughs> but you don't have your rabbit seat on. But they know. Yeah, deliver. On Instagram, it says scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah look, I, look, I'm all for giving advice, but don't come to me with no bullshit, man. You know what I mean? But speaking about this type of shit, I want to hop into some clubhouse shit. Go ahead. Because the things that you're speaking about, about people that try to like seem bigger than what they are and Niggas try to like, capping. you know, Fuck. it's a lot of cap on that app. And look, look, this is no hate. I like Fucking the app. You know, I like, I like the potential of it. It's turning into... It turned to groupie house. It's turned to that. Mm-hmm. A celebrity gets in the room. <coughs> niggas groupie? is in there for oh, three hours gotcha. listening to him talk about bullshit. It's like, you know, a lot of people on there that, that, I'm listening. Can you I'm, private message on Clubhouse? No, it's no message. Oh, because I was about to say. Yeah. Groupie's about to go crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe it's. I'm starting to realize that a lot of people on that app just want to sound smart. Like, you ever you, you ever met somebody that that it's like the conversation ain't even that deep. Yeah, it deserves a conversation, but it's not. It don't deserve a deep dive. Yeah, and they just want to control the room. You know, take ten minutes of themselves to saying the same shit, some shit over and, and over, just, using and the same like, word. Well, the same meaning of a word, but ten different words yeah. meaning the same shit. Right, so, it's like it's like your professor asked you to write a a, a essay of five hundred words, and you just reiterate the same paragraph twice. No, for every so your shit get to five hundred. Yeah, it's like it's a lot of that in that app, and like I find myself going through the app trying to find a room because I do want to, you know, gain a following and, and you know network with people and see what it could provide, you know. Yeah, and. And I'm share a conversationalist, ideas, I so I do want to have conversations, but I find myself on the app for a good 15 minutes, just, you know, going in the room, seeing what it's about. Y'all are entirely too horny on this app. I was just about to say, <laughs> all these niggas, majority of the fucking topics is sexually. They shit. horny. Like, yo, bro, y'all are fucking boring. They horny, bro. If They're all you boring. can talk about is sexual related shit, you're fucking boring, bro. Yeah, man. When I say bro, I mean niggas and bitch. Like yeah. y'all are boring. Too boring. The fuck? You go inside of a room. Horny ass niggas. As soon as you hear it's like, yo, you eat ass, you eat ass. Or like, fuck, marry, kill. Um, name two niggas on the stage you would suck their dick. Um, who would you say on their face? And what? You and, ever had a trend? I'm just like, I and this is room. what age group twenty five to thirty. 
Yes. 25 these, to 30 these year olds. These niggas are our age. 25 to 30 year olds talking about. Yes. <laughs> these are definitely like Yo. 23, 24, and like 35. Like these are like old gentlemen too. Um, and you know, I try to go inside rooms and shit, and just but sometimes it's just not, it's not for me to add. You know, it's not for me to add. Y'all playing fuck Mary kill. I don't want to fuck none of y'all. My girl better than all of y'all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just like certain rooms, they talking about. I don't know. I don't know. I try to find value. Like, not every combo has to be this super intellectual, but I want to hear how many I got trains around y'all. You know what I mean? And then, or either it's just like a room of just like just the celebrities controlling it. And then it's a bunch of celebrity niggas. Then it's just a bunch of beautiful women. Feeding grounds. It, like like the regular niggas who have something to add, they can't get inside the stage. It's the hotel lobby, yeah. Yeah. Because we're the cool, we're the in crowd. We're not gonna let you in. You might have more game than me. We're the in crowd. I'm used to having clout because I have money. Yeah. Insecurity. You're a regular nigga that may we're not gonna allow you to have a word because yeah. we want all the attention. And it's it's fine. But it's a lot of that groupy shit going on, like, oh shit. So and so's in the room. Five thousand people in the room, but they ain't really talking about shit. I'm gonna say this too. You know, Joe Budden, you need to fucking relax. You be <laughs> Yo, up since like Budden five though, man. in the morning. But yeah, he be nonstop till like eleven yeah. at night, bro. Yeah. You in every lobby? Yeah, they be. Is yeah. this your app? Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie. That's God. that lot of sucking because like a lot of the episodes be like four hours, so yeah. I could see how he could be on that shit. But yeah, he be on that shit a lot, bro. A lot, a lot, bro. I mean, if you set up the most moves followers shit, that I've seen cool. anybody have, he got the most. He got like 180,000 right now. He's the most I've ever seen. Mm. Me Mill is on there. 21 Savage is on there. I heard about rumors with academics. They going at him and shit. It's a lot of. The app is cool. I just don't like what it's turning into. It's turning into like, I'm the in crowd. Y'all niggas can't get on stage. Or oh, it's like a lot of groupy shit. Yeah. A lot of dick rotting. A lot of yes man shit. Yeah, 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 me, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's like the app is turning into feeding grounds for Diddy with his concept of um making the band. Mm-hmm. I would say for the niggas. And for the women, it's like the women without stuff going for them. It's like loving hip hop. Mm-hmm. I it's I'm in I'm in the same room with this nigga. Bro. I could put on the most sexy voice and all of that, and he's gonna fucking fall for it. Because the typical man fall for a feminine woman. And soon as that it's like, bro. My nigga, they have in moaning rooms when I see, I saw a room last night. Can't make the this pot shit. was four hundred and fifty dollars for the the girl who could moan the best. And I'm in the room. I'm hearing the terms and shit. And they picked the girl. She about to do it. I just left the room. I left the room. And I'm like, yo, niggas has really been there for about that. Because that room was floating around. I didn't join it to the end. And I'm like, niggas have really been in this room for like an hour just listening to women moan. That's some sick shit, bro. Like, that's sick to me. You went, you, you went here for an hour plus. Just listening to women moan on an app. And y'all cash app in money to a pot to send to her for moaning on an app. Niggas gonna be fucking machines <laughs> just now. They already making these Yo. sex dolls. Nah, the energy is sick on there, bro. Niggas, Niggas fucking is machines. Super, I go inside of a room. All I hear is, yeah, and I would uh I would get the neck from Nico. He's like a Harlem nigga. I've been there for two minutes. The neck from you? Yeah. Oh, like like, like a girl wants out? me to eat her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, so I mean, Harlem, I, that's how the Harlem niggas give it up. I'm flattering this. I mean, I guess my picture gave that off, but or that was just her shooting her shot. Yeah, I I didn't say shit though. Yeah, I know. I ain't say shit because like yeah. for one, I got a girl, so. I mean, and I, don't, and I don't mean one of these guys like, I got a girl, oh, he can't do shit. But it's like, y'all in a room playing fuck, Mary kill with people in the chat. You saying, yo, I, so I'll fuck Mary, 
I'll fuck, I'll fuck Sarah, I'll fuck, I'll fuck Jill. <laughs> I'll fuck Jennifer. <laughs> so it's like, what, what, what I'm going to say? All right, Nico, your turn. Because they're going to order. Mm-hmm. So I'm on it. Like, every time I go to a room, every time they call me on stage, I don't really know these niggas. I probably know one person. They call me on stage. So I'll be in there to see what's going on. Before it gets to my turn, I'll leave. Because it's just like, all right, I'm going to get to my turn. I really, it's going to be disingenuous. I don't want to fuck none of y'all. I don't want to kill none of y'all. I don't want to marry none of y'all. You know? So, it's just, man, that's why I like the room. Me and Kami going to have to- A lot of corny shit. Me and Kami going to have to make- me, Not even just Kami. Me and somebody else going to have to make a room. I say Kami because like, he knows a lot of people. Mm. And, I want, and I, I do want the room booming. You know, because it's, it's, it's- You and Paul could start y'all thing again, it's pot, too. Yeah. Y'all used to do that's y'all- That's facts. That's facts. That's fat. We used to always get and on And plus, he could hit them. He yeah. could he could have his segments with the Would You Rathers because he Yo, king of that. That nigga is the black jigsaw, bro. He, nah, bro. I was reading a couple on his Twitter the other day. It's I'm too like, much he's pressure. some good ass fucking Would no, You Rather. I'll be skipping it. I can't take the pressure. It's too much. One of them I read, I was like, I'm not answering this one shit. Time, it's just one time I hard. read it, my hand was shaking. I dropped my phone. You need to relax with these <laughs> Lifetime movies, man. These, this shit's is making you too I was damn like, oh soft. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Nigga got an orgasm reading. Nigga would said, you "Yo, what? Yo, you know what? I'm gonna read one off real quick. I'm gonna read one off real quick because he be saying some wild, wacky shit, man." Nigga said, "Would you?" I don't know if it was him. It was somebody else. I came across. They said, "Nah, he don't have none of his story." Oh my god! They said, um, "Whatever." Would you go two years without no sex for seven hundred million? Three million? Or no, it, it was a couple million. It was the seven hundred. I'm like, all right, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, think it's gonna do that? that. On Twitter, yeah, like, yeah. bro, what? I can easily do that. Seven hundred million. I can do four years. For seven hundred million. Yes, easily. The amount of chicks I'm gonna fuck in that without, fifth year without a fucking and then it, then notice it said no orgasm, so I, so I can still jerk off. Well, I assume no playing with yourself, no orgasm. I can period. still do that. If se- if I know seven hundred million is the goal, my nigga, I am a nun. That's what I'm saying. I'm a nun for two years. I'm buying the outfit and I'm going to church and all that. I'm shit. wearing a chastity belt. That's a fact. Because you know there's some late lusty nights and shit. <laughs> Henny in your system. I'm definitely wearing that. You might go against your fucking thought and shit. Yeah. 700 so, million? Bro, even for a million, I'm doing that shit. I ain't gonna lie. All right, so question. Would you do it for 700 million Guyana dollars? That's like $4,000, though. <laughs> <laughs> keep going with I'm gonna your- i buy like an Xbox? Uh, like- keep going with your other whatever you was going to say. That was that was funny. <laughs> that was cute. But $4, nah, $4, um, <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's accurate though. Right, I did the math. Um, nah, you know, I just want to be a little more active on the app. You know, it is it is a great concept. It's just it's a lot of I don't like the cap I'm hearing. I don't like the dick rotting I'm hearing. It's turning to like like it's turning to like, like some high school shit. We're the cool kids. The clicks, yeah. We in this room. We're moderating. I was in a room earlier today with Gab Bay. <laughs> no, no, yesterday with Gab Bay. Shout out, Gabby. Shout out. Yeah, I was just want to say. She's making her mark on that. Yeah, app. you got to pull back up again to the podcast. Yeah, facts. Um, she's had some good, like some uh, some women healing circle rooms. Pretty cool. And but one of the girls in her room, I ain't gonna say her name. Shout out to her. She a black queen, but like she's a little strong. She's an. She was on some like queen. real like you know all men ain't shit type vibe. She a lesbian. She's in the. I don't know. She sounds like she some dick though. Yeah, that's what but it sounds. She was like. in the room. She was like, first she said, I right, no disrespect for black women will be tolerated. I said, all right, cool. I'm fucking with it. Then she started saying shit like, yo, when the black woman's talking, you shut the fuck up. And she could say shit to you, but you can't say shit back or you going to the audience. We're not tolerating that shit. And like when she's talking, she be like, like if she's talking and somebody has a word in, she'll just shut the fuck up. I'm talking, I'm like, all right, all right, you you wild enough. You wildin' now. Like, woo, like, what are you on right now? Yeah. Like, this a healing circle for y'all? You just being a, a bitch? You negative. Yeah. You know? She's but clearly negative. It's cool, though. It's cool, though, man. Um. Oh, before I, before we end this shit, 
I was in a room with Riza Islam, a couple folks. Brother Reese. Um, Lakeith Stanfield, he's making his mark on there. Um, I like his perspective and shit. I he's, like him as an actor too. Yeah, he's I really good. I was just good. looking at the poster for Photograph today. I was like, I still haven't watched it. I still this haven't movie. seen it. But I tried it on one of the sites and they didn't have it either. My favorite film by him is Sorry to Bother You. Love that movie. Okay. Um, his role in Get Out was good too. Um, uh, he's another one that like he's going against the status quo of like what Hollywood wants and shit. He be on some like nah, I ain't fucking with that. I like that. Um, but they was having a room where they was in it. It's a bunch of you know black leaders and you know people from uh like from uh Mixed of Islam in there as well, and they were speaking about you know black empowerment and how to mm-hmm. you know overcome the powers that be and you know maybe making an app that is black owned because the room kept on getting shut down and they were suspecting that particular that, room that day room yeah right definitely. and it was like okay so clubhouse on their instagram <clears throat> on their tiktok on their facebook on their twitter shit twitter and a little shit. more lenient yeah. but they on their social media shit like like okay they say welcome party you welcome into the social media now you're moving like one they were they shut down like three times right they kept on making the room. And then it was getting shadow banned from the feed. So the views was going down. They're like, okay, we see what's going on. Then one of the guys who made the room got a anonymous text. He was like, yo, I was in the room. I don't know how, who I don't know who texted him, but he said, yo, you got anonymous text. He said, yo, whistle blow. He said, yo, these are the people that was in your room reporting the shit to Clubhouse, the owners and shit. Mm. It was four white people mm. in that shit. He got the screenshot and all that. Send a screenshot on his Instagram, and we all we all block them. It's just so they can't come out of the room no more. But yeah, they come out of the room. They come out of the room, and they hearing black empowerment, and they just reporting the room. And I still blame Clubhouse because the report is one thing. They have to investigate the report and then see if it's that's it, what it aligns saying, with like, their claim. How, how you blocking a room that's just strict talking about black empowerment? That's the same bullshit my manager was doing. You just take one side. And mm-hmm. run with it. Mm-hmm. You're not investigating mm-hmm. shit. Another thing that he said too, which kind of disappointed me, which I don't really know. He said somebody else texted him was like, yo, somebody else was in the room and it was Joe Rogan. And he, he may be the ones that reported too. I, was I mean, like, it could be black people in Joe the room that's Rogan? reporting. But yeah, uh-huh. it, I, it, I'm it, saying it, it, it could be. But it according could be. to that guy, it could be. He it sounded like the guy who texted the the other guy. It's, it's like he's just reporting all the white people <laughs> that was in the room. Yeah, because there like, wasn't much white people in the it room. Was like, all yeah. these white, <laughs> these are all the culprits, and he just screenshot all the white people. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, it could, yeah. All them who, niggas who could have be? been with it, yeah. and it could have been some fucking black people. Who could be? Yeah, who like, knows? Niggas who be knows? snakes. Either way, the one, the four niggas that he first wrote, I reported it, but they were speaking some good shit. Man, Rizzo was speaking his shit about the vaccine, and they was. Exposing a lot of, I was in that room for a minute, soaking up game. So, the app does have some value. Yeah. Besides Definitely. the ratchet, horny shit, it's a lot of social Definitely. media marketing, a lot of real estate, a lot of a uh, lot of stock talk, a lot of you know how to get your name in the game if you're an artist. Speaking of ratchet, you I know? got a quick question. Are you done with that topic though? Yeah. All right. So, a couple of weeks ago, it was um I don't know if you came across it on social media. It was this black guy. He owned a restaurant in Texas. I think Houston. And some black women was in the restaurant. They started twerking. I heard about it. Yep. Heard about it. He came over politely. Mm-hmm. Told them, you, y'all bitches need to relax. Yeah, he said, yo, this is a sound of that we're not really. <laughs> yeah. We play he, music. Didn't, he didn't curse. He yeah, played he, music, but we're not, it's not really our, our yeah. vibe in here. It's a very classic He was place. respectful the first time. Yeah, he was respectful. Yep. Music came on, well, a couple minutes later after they were addressed politely, respectively. They got up on a uh, leaning on a glass they and started twerking again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He wasn't so polite this time. Was this, what do you think about that? Like, what do you think? Because people will, they were dumbass black people. Oh my God, he, he shouldn't have talked to them like that. They're black women at the end of the day. Y'all need to stop pushing yeah. this black woman. Black woman, yeah, but you don't, that don't mean you could do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And use black women like, as a fucking like, safety net. Like, we, Y'all deserve respect 
But you got to give respect to. Yeah, they, black, they one that's like street. saying black children don't deserve respect. Yeah. Only black women. Black men don't deserve respect. Yeah. Bro, the same way you're it's the least street. respected and all of this shit, what do you think our status is? Do you think yeah. black men we are like the right third? Above yes. Yeah, we like right above y'all. It, the fuck? Yeah, we right we're above right above in terms yeah. of men? Yeah, we're, 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 we're the black like, women of the like, men. Yeah, like we're touching hands and the shit. The fuck is wrong with y'all? Yeah. but I'll be pushing like... But my thoughts on that... Um, I didn't really hear the video. I heard he was a little, you know. I heard the audio to it. Was he like ODing? No, he, he, like when he yelled, he wasn't like he used profanity, but he didn't curse them like y'all bitches. Bitch. He didn't know. He just said we don't fucking said, do this here. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like, this is my fucking place of establishment. If you want, you could. If you need to twerk that bad, you could leave. Right. Pretty much. So I. He's like, yeah. I built this for my people. And my neighborhood, and because we have nothing respectable, reputable in our community. So, because I built this, I expect people to come in and respect my shit. At the end of the day, this is an establishment. Whether he was black or white, this is a... The, 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 the owner says you can't do this. Don't fucking do it. And and he came to y'all politely the first time. And it's a black man. So, so, he, so the thing is... He should have got the respect from y'all first because he came to y'all polite. He gave y'all respect by coming to y'all politely. Y'all returned that respect by just abiding by his orders. Y'all eating y'all food. Y'all eating his food that, that they made. So just enjoy the music, enjoy the ambiance, and just have a good time. Y'all disrespected him by, by saying, nah, fuck that. He said no trucking. We're going to do it anyway. Right? Then he had to get out his mouth a little bit and, and, and return some fire, which, which, which I agree with. Me too. I I, I did with, that. I did with, the same thing with him being irate and saying, "Yo, I already told y'all we don't do this here." I know for a fact y'all wouldn't fucking do this in Peter Lugas. That's a fact. Y'all wouldn't fucking in do this any in white Felix. Resta- any white restaurant. You know what I'm saying? So why? Is it, is it, the thing is, why is it a lack of respect? You wouldn't even do the shit in fucking Applebee's, right? If two chains came on, right? Nah, they probably would have Applebee's. They probably would. Applebee's is ratchet as fuck. That rap, rap in yeah. Brooklyn yeah, is yeah, ratchet. Yeah. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> but you know they want to do like in a nice Italian restaurant in Midtown. They not. Because they know they're not playing that shit. Get the fuck out. But why you going, you know what I'm saying? So I, That's no, just I, to yeah. show the level of yeah. respect that they have for their own yeah. people. They was wrong for that. They was wrong for that. They was wrong for that. I heard all the way guys wrong. on Joe Budden podcast, like Parks. I think Parks and, and Roy was like, well, don't play music if you're not going to expect. What they the need fuck? to shut the fuck up. Like, what the fuck? Who, Rory? Yeah, Rory. From Joe Parks. Budden? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They need yeah. to shut the fuck up. Yeah. There was like. That's Whoa. like twerking and sweet chick. What? Yeah, it's like, just if you play music, don't mean you're going to like. I mean, that's like expecting, like, all right, we playing King Von. All right, let's get rowdy and pull Oh, we should just shit. shoot people. Right. <laughs> niggas said to shoot. I don't give a fuck what you play, bro. If the niggas say don't twerk, don't twerk. Yeah, y'all in a restaurant. Like, y'all not in no fucking club. This ain't no lounge. That's why, yo, as I get older, people gonna find certain things I say abrasive, but I don't give a fuck. This <laughs> is why a lot of they a lot of these women be fucking single. Nobody married your ass. Cause yeah. y'all, time and fucking place. Yeah, yeah. Like like if I was in a spot and and I wanted to speak to a girl and I saw that whole tirade and she's a part of that, and he had to tell her it's again. It's a dub. You turn me off. I I don't even You some wanna, whack bitch. Yeah. Like yeah you, you, yeah, you talking on the table. It's like in front of people eating meals, families, right. children around. Right, like, right. bro, yeah, it's, fam- it's yeah. not a club. It's inappropriate. It's not yeah. a club. It's inappropriate. Yeah, yeah, nah. It's, a, it's oh, no way you, around it. If you want us to twerk, don't play music. What type of logic is that? What type of logic is that? <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, that's like saying like, like, yo, don't play no. Uh, Damn, what's that nigga who used to be in Miami and used to play like a bunch of like freak shit? Pete Pablo? No. He was thinking of him. Though. Trick Daddy. No, Trick. no, no, no. What? No, no, not, not, not Trick him, Daddy. Bro, not him and mine, though. It's another one. He the one that said, um, fuck, what is his name? He's from Miami. I think I, Uncle it's Luke. A, uh, Uncle Luke. All right, That's cool. like saying, yo, yeah, I was about to say. Why play Uncle Luke? If y'all don't want us to like rub on y'all ass and try to get and try to fuck y'all, yeah, I want why why listen to Vibes Cartel if I can't fucking ra- fuck you right, right here in this club? It's like say, oh, so since we playing Turk music, you, you supposed to twerk? We can't right? twerk. 
it, like, this is what I'm saying. This shit women, is crazy. well, not all women, but in this particular scenario, women choose stances that's really not gonna help them in the long run. Yeah. You ask those two, three women, is this the stance you want to go with? Right. Is this the hill you want to <laughs> die on? As long as niggas play a certain type of music, you have to do it. Right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> when them fucking that shit bullies, don't... when them dudes, and, when them white boys in Texas throwing some fucking raping music. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> with, with, and you the only one around. With, you only <laughs> What is raping music, a dollar? Any 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 white music is raping music. Nah, I'm oh playing. My God. Nah, I'm playing. But yeah, yeah. you get what I'm saying, though. Yeah. You have a fact of the week? Uh, yeah. So, fact of fact, the week. Fact of the week. Mm-hmm. So, we currently see this whole vaccine being pushed, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, with the black woman doctor. Yeah, her name is uh, Kismikia Corbett. Right? Mm. <clears throat> it's a hell of a name. And they call her Kizzy. Dr. Fauci. He's like, oh, yeah, Kizzy. Kizzy was one of the doctors that spearheaded. Since when have you... I'm like, why do you... Put... A, a doctor's name. Exactly. Why are you referring see, to a little doctor subtle, like... This re- little subtle thing like that. You see that? Yeah, because you're 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 black and you're... That, that's the right. first Go thing that stood out to me. Name. Doctor, what her last name? Doctor Corbett. Oh, exactly. The Dr. Fuck? Phil... Dr. Oz. Wait, you don't call him Dr. Mikey. Mikey over there. He's a doctor. The fuck? Anyway, (laughs) Fauci, it's your punk ass. All right. um, So she is apparently labeled as one of the, you know, doctors that spearheaded and came up with the whole, like, you know, creation of this so-called COVID vaccine. Right? I think it's mainly pertaining to the Pfizer um, COVID vaccine. Now, doing a little homework, like I, I peeped, I came across Tariq, uh, mm-hmm. Tariq Nashi. He posted he, like exposing her shit, like her Twitter, mm-hmm. and it showed her Twitter page. It showed picture, her name, and all that. Years ago, the same chick Kismiki Kismikia was talking about. Oh, um, I'm definitely gonna marry a white man. Oh, white man. I my heart just melt when I see a fine white man and his in his beard and this and that. Basically, she had like four or five tweets about black men ain't shit, and she see herself with a white man and having children, beautiful children with a white man. Right? Two plus two gonna always equal four. On some Candace Owens shit, right? Now, doing some a little, a little bit of homework again, um, came across also got contrived this information from uh Tariq, but i pulled it i pulled it up the article myself to you know validate it well verify the information and you know how they say nothing new happens under the sun yep history repeats itself so on and so forth yep so the tuskegee experiments back in the what 40s mm-hmm. on black men sorry there was a black woman there as well, spearheading, in tuned, knowledgeable of the so-called syphilis experiments on black men. Mm. Her name is Eunice Rivers. That's so the fact is- of the week. So the same, same way shit. Eunice sat her ass up and watched all those black men get and injected same like covid injected right. with syphilis and then knowing that the government is going to be do- conducting one year two year five year ten year checkups to see the deterioration monitor the prognosis of this disease mm-hmm. now at this time there was no aids there was no syphilis there was no gonorrhea there was no to our knowledge how fucking ironic all this shit came out after right Right, they use of they use a face that looks like you to make you feel more comfortable. Trojan horse, yeah, it, Trojan horse is bait, all that shit. Yo, look, look, it's somebody who looks like you. That's why I saw um, a U.S. surgeon was talking about. They were telling LeBron 
to lead by example and take the vaccine. No, fuck you. You're a fucking surgeon. You're not a virologist. Fuck you, nigga. What the hell out of my damn face? That's what I would have said. I would have said, you're a surgeon. You're not a virologist. Right. You don't know what is in this shit. What are you talking about? Did you take it? That's like I a dentist. Fuck, even if you did take it. All right, you're a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> not leading my example. And lastly, before we get off this, I, mm-hmm. I wanted to speak about it. I wanted to mention it when we was on the topic with the doctors with Risa. The video of the white woman doctor that took that took the injection right, and then right, passed out right. during a press conference. Right, 17 minutes later. It only took 17 oh, I'm minutes. Feeling, I'm feeling... Now, we don't know yeah. if none of these things are true, how true these things are, right? But at the end of the day, these things are happening. So yeah. it's like, why aren't they blasting this the same way they're blasting... COVID is killing 3,000 people every day. <laughs> right. 3,000 people where? Which is cap. Where, nigga? Yeah, this is cap. Why am I not seeing 3,000 fucking hearses? Why have I not seen five hearses? Yeah. All 2020. Yeah. I ain't seen one funeral service yet. Yeah. Is niggas dying, though? There's people dying. Some folks that I know, But I ain't seen one funeral food. service like, yet. Yeah. I haven't. And that ain't no yeah. cap. Yeah. yeah we, we've been outside a little bit. I've been outside probably too much. So I've been outside, outside. And you got to talk about without your mask, too. Yeah, I'm raw dogging it. And I'm telling you, man, I just re up. See over there? Oh, re up. Okay. Got my herd. Dropped some off for my dad crib. I'm going back to get some for my grandmother. Yeah. Some mooly and flour. I'm telling you, get hip. <laughs> you put me I'm on. I'm telling you, that mooly and flour, that shit got so many. Bro, matter of fact, before we go, my, my fact, fact of the, of the week. week. Yeah, facts. My fact of the week. Read that shit off. I'm about to read off. The ones that I fuck with, that I've been most. fucking with lately, that I put my dad on. He what, even the get herbs? the moolie. Yeah, or? he got the oregano. He got the echinacea, right? Mm-hmm. It's the name of it, right? I always say something else. Echinacea, echinacea. I call so, it. I call it. A- that one is it prevents bacterial and viral infections, boosts immunity and prevents cancer. Beneficial in reducing inflammation, keeps teeth healthy and strong, protects against ear infections. AIDS and healing. What's that P word? Psoriasis. Psoriasis. Psoriasis is basically skin, um, like, um, what is it called? When people break out with that skin shit. Uh, eczema? Eczema. So okay. Eczema is it like says and eczema as well. Yeah. Helps to heal respiratory conditions such as such as bronchitis, right? Mm-hmm. That's echinacea. Right? Euchanasia. Euchanasia. <laughs> then the mountain oregano fights off cold viruses, powerful antiviral and antibacterial properties of oregano oil makes it a great choice asthma sufferers and stimulates appetite you know relaxes muscles you know shit like that right the mooling flower this shit is like a sensu bean bro for your immune system helps to reduce fever it protects wounds from infections provides relief from toothache headache cold and sinusitis right um Helps to increase frequency and quantity of urination, which is healthy for you. Mm-hmm. Effectively cures nasal or respiratory tract inflammation. Mm. Right? Gives relief from cough, asthma, bronchitis, and congestion. Eff- efficient in curing both internal and external infections. Provides relief from m- muscular cramps, nervous disorders, stress, and anxiety. That shit, mooling flour is, is basically all you need. I didn't pick it up. I'm going this fucking week. Mm-hmm. I'm going this week. I'm off, I'm off Christmas or Eve. I'm going probably before I go see my sister. Mm-hmm. And I'm dropping shit off my uh my dad crib, going to my grandmother's crib, drop it off on Christmas. I might pick up a whole bunch from my family, give it off in a little package. Merry Christmas, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got your help. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I'm telling you, I didn't get hit, man. Look. That shit is better than this mask. I'm not telling you to not wear your mask, but if you wear your mask, you not doing nothing else. You doing your body and niggas around you with this service. Get hit with these herbs, man. I'm telling you. I've been wearing my mask a little too much recently. I gotta start acting out again. Yeah, my job again. on some. <sighs> now I mean on the train and shit. I'm being. Oh really? I'm being I wear my Samaritan nose down. I wear my shit. nose down. Oh, I ain't. I ain't, yeah, I ain't gonna pass me on this plane. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. But. That's it, right? That's it. Yo, 
Thank y'all for listening, man. Another episode, but it's podcast. Get them herbs. Oh yeah, by the way, before we go, this is Nico, aka the Beige Man. <laughs> oh yeah. Before we go too, I wanted to say. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna say it after. But yeah, this um da- Abdallah, aka Dark Knight signing out. Um Happy holidays, y'all. Yeah, man. If you celebrate Kwanzaa, happy Kwanzaa. If you celebrate Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah, Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you're just an atheist and you don't celebrate, have they uh have Happy holidays. Happy regardless. holidays happy and family have good, time. good, good, good yeah. days. Yeah. Yeah. Spend time with your family, you yeah. know. Yeah. Have some good days. <laughs> <laughs> happy good days. Happy good days. <laughs> but yo, we catch y'all later. Bang. <laughs>